Hello, I'm Marisa Pless, and today we are going to learn about the story of God's eternal plan in 10 steps. We will go over the steps briefly by drawing a picture to help symbolize the meaning and verse to go with each point and help explain it. The first step is that God created us in fellowship with Him. The drawing for this step is a big G, and under the G, a smiley face. And the G represents God, and the smiley face represents man. Uh, the scripture to explain this point is Genesis 3, 8, if you'll turn to that. And I'll have you read that. Then the man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. And this just explains that um, that they were made to be in fellowship with him. Okay. And So that's why they were in the garden? Yeah. Okay. okay. The second step is that God gave us the power to choose. And the drawing for this one is a big question mark okay. with a face underneath that's kind of unsure of what it's to not, do. It's not smiling like the last no, one? No, it's like a straight line. Okay. And the scripture to help explain this one is Genesis 2, 16 and 17. And I will read that. Okay. And the Lord God commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. This just explains that they had a choice and... Mm -hmm. um, the next one explains that they chose to sin. So step three is all have chosen to sin. And the drawing for this is an arrow pointing to a big S. Okay. So that kind of symbolizes that we're choosing to sin. Yeah, S is sin, uh -huh. and then that's what we choose. Okay. And the scripture for this one is um, Romans 3.23. So you can read this one. Okay. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Right. Um, the next one. So it wasn't just Adam and Eve that. Sinned. No, we all sin. We all sin. Yeah. Um, the next one is our sins separate us from God, bringing spiritual death. And the drawing on this one is a big G. Okay. Symbolizing God again. Yes. With a box, with the word sin under the G. And then a person under the box. And it's a sad face because we're sad we're away from God because we don't feel whole without him. Mm -hmm. And the scripture for that is Romans 6, 23. And I find that. Okay. Um, Romans 6, 23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Does that does that mean like like physical death? No, like if we sin, you know, we like yeah, go to hell and stuff. But like since Jesus died for our sins, um, God's grace saves us and lets us go to heaven so and have eternal like, life. So it's more like a spiritual death. Yes. Right? Okay. That makes me, that makes sense. Um, step five is that God must punish us, but wants to forgive us, and so the drawing for this is a P. Mm -hmm. which represents punish, mm -hmm. and an or, and then a big F, which is forgive, and a question mark, because he doesn't know what to do, punish or forgive. And the scripture for this is Romans 3.26, which I will let you read. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time, so as to be just and the one who justifies is, justifies those who have faith in Jesus. Right. And the next step is that God sent Jesus as our Savior. And the drawing for this is a cross. Okay. And then there's little dots that kind of trickle down to the ground, which mm -hmm. is the blood that um, he shed because he died for our sins. Mm -hmm. And the verse for that is John three sixteen. I think I've heard of that verse. Yeah, it's a very common one. It's, you see it a lot. Um, 
Okay, I'll read this one. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. That's pretty self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. God loves us so much that, you know, he would send the, the biggest thing he cares about, his Son, to die for us. The next step is number seven, and it's we must choose Jesus as our Savior. Um, and for that picture, it's um, an arrow to a cross mm -hmm. um, saying we must choose Jesus. And how we do that is through baptism. Okay. And um, a scripture for that is, well, the same one, John 3.16, which is for God so loved the world that he gave his one only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. And another one is Matthew 25, 46, which you can read this one. Okay. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous, righteousness to eternal life. Yeah, and that's just saying, you know, like, if you choose Jesus as your Savior, you know, you mm -hmm. will have eternal life. Uh -huh. Um. The next one is step eight, and that is that we must demonstrate our acceptance by obedience. And the drawing for that is a big F, mm -hmm. a plus sign, and then a big O, F standing for faith, okay. and O standing for obedience. And a verse for that is James 2.24. And this one says, you see that a person is considered righteous by what they do and not by faith alone. So that's just saying, you know, like, even if you have faith without showing it and letting other people mm -hmm. um, see how you live and things like that, then it doesn't really matter. They go together. Because God, whenever we have faith in him, he wants us to exclaim it, right? Rather yeah. Than, we're not supposed to keep it in and hide it to ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Um... And another one is Acts 2, 38. I think I've heard of this one, too. Yeah, it's a pretty popular one when it comes to baptism and stuff. Peter replied, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh, step nine is that God restores us to fellowship with him. And the drawing for that is a big G. Okay. There's been a lot of G's. Yeah. Well, God's in a lot of these, you know. That's true. And then under the G is a smiley face. Okay. And then under the smiley face is a box with sin written in it and mm -hmm. sins marked through. Because since he sent his son to die on the cross for our sins, mm -hmm. um, we, we are restored with him. And so sin's no longer there. It doesn't no longer separate God and man. Okay. And the same verse as step eight, um, Acts 2.38, Repent be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hold, Just, hold, hold on. What, yes. What's the gift of the Holy Spirit? Um, That's like like his like grace for us. Mm -hmm. And like just... Like... I don't know, like, we receive it, like, whenever we do, like, accept God and, you know, be baptized. Um, yeah, and, okay, so the final step is step 10, and that's God puts all the saved into Christ. Mm -hmm. And the drawing for that is um, draw a smiley face. Okay. And then around the smiley face, draw a big C. Okay. And that's just representing that Christ is around us and is, um, like, clothed with us, as we'll see in our verse. Like we're, like, one with Christ now. Yes, we're together. And the last verse is Galatians 3.27. And I will let you read the final verse. Okay. For all of you who are baptized into Christ have clothed yourself, yourselves with Christ. Yes, and that's pretty much just restating what we said how mm -hmm. he clothes us after we were baptized mm -hmm. um yeah do you have any questions no i think you explained it really well
Good. After going through the 10 steps, I hope this helps you understand what God's eternal plan is for us. Thank you.